Welcome to Sewing Repairs and Alterations. Now in this particular video I'm going to show you how to replace this back buckle on a waistcoat. Now as you know all waistcoats have this little buckle and it's attached to the decorative strap. And they can get damaged or they can fall off over time due to wear but nevertheless they need replacing. So I'm going to take over my waistcoat to the pattern table in order to get started on this alteration. Now before we start, I'm just going to go over the equipment you're going to need in order to get this alteration done. So first of all, you're going to need some thread. Now the thread needs to be the same colour as the decorative strap here, what the buckle is attached to. So you need your thread, you need a seam ripper or an unpicker, because of course we need to get into that and undo that. Some little scissors, now these are little embroidery scissors, very sharp and they're very very easy just to cut the threads when you finish sewing. Now I always carry pins with me, but you might not necessarily need pins for this alteration. Um, you may do just to keep this uh, held back, but you know I always keep pins. And of course, you're going to need a sewing machine. So now that we know the equipment we're going to need, we can get started. Now, as you can see, I'm using a waistcoat where the clasp doesn't need changing at all, okay? But let's assume that this clasp is broken, or it's not even there for some reason, okay? So the first thing what you need to do is you need to just start unpicking this decorative belt just to get in and release the strap, uh, release the buckle, sorry. So just unpick the stitches just on the edge there, okay. Now just be careful that you don't rip uh, the decorative strap, you don't want that because of course these unpickers are actually quite sharp. So we can just get rid of all that excess thread like so okay so now we have the buckle now in order to replace the buckle you're going to need to go and get a new one now these buckles are known as a waistcoat clasp buckle um, and or they're just known as a buckle for a waistcoat clasp at the back but they are found in any haberdashery store, okay? They're very, very easy to get hold of. Uh, if you can't get hold of one, then you'll be able to get hold of these on the internet. But nevertheless, they are actually really easy to get hold of. So you need your clasp. So all you need to do is you need to just make sure that the buckle is going the right way. Now, as you can see, on this side there's a serrated edge, you've got the slider in the middle and here you've got a smooth edge and it sort of goes in in the middle, it's almost as if it's sort of the metal's being bent back to, uh, to come together in the middle there. So the place what you need to do is you need to fold this buckle or you need to fold the strap of the waistcoat onto the smooth part of the buckle because the serrated edge helps fasten for the other side. So the serrated edge needs to be needs to be showing. Now just make sure that this middle bit as well is down towards the bottom because all we're doing is we're attaching the top part only. Now as well you need to make sure that the strap is flat and it's going to be folded this way not not this way, okay, because that then isn't neat. So it needs to be folded sort of back on itself. So let's just fold that in. I'm going to get a pin and we can just pin that in place like that, okay. So as you can see, all it is is folded back. It's very simple. So all we need to do is just stitch this back and forth a few times with the sewing machine. 
So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and stitch this in place. Okay, so here we are at the sewing machine. And what I'm going to be doing is using what's called a walking foot. Now, the walking foot grips the fabric a lot easier. Now, if you don't have a walking foot, it doesn't really matter because it'll still work with a standard sewing machine foot. But it is easier with a walking foot because, like I said, it grips the fabric at all times. So, I'm going to just take this pin out and obviously place this under the sewing machine. Now, you need to make sure that the all of this here, the strap is aligned properly, okay? And that the buckle is out of the way. So we're simply going forward. Let's go just lock the stitches in place. So we're going forward, back, so back tack, and forward again, back tack, and forward. And that is it. That's all there is to it. Now so you're going to cut the threads here. Let's just cut these. Okay, and on the front as well. Like that. And as you can see, that now is secure. And the, the folded back part is nicely situated in the middle of this decorative strap. So that's it. That is the alteration of how to replace the buckle in a waistcoat.